EA Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, as we get set for Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors taking on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Warriors coming off a tough loss in their previous game against Cleveland. Jeff, they struggle in a lot of areas, but what stood out the most? Seriously, Mike, what's up with these guys? They didn't close hard to the three-point line? What is up? That's how they lost. Guard the three every night. Pass to the corner. The perfect dish. Barnes from downtown with two remaining on the clock. Four, three. The assist from... Well, I didn't know that Love's middle name, Wesley, was in honor of former NBA star Wes Unsell. He's a family friend. And Unsell, just like Love, a big guy who can rebound and throw great outlet passes. Well, that's what gets overlooked a lot of times with Love and his shooting and his rebounding sort of dominate the conversation. But those outlet passes that he throws, those pinpoint passes, does remind you a little bit of Wes Unsell, who was by far the best of all time at the outlet pass. Kicks it back out. Curry for three with another shot. Curry's off the mark from downtown. Smith jumper. The Cavs with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Puts it back up and in on the follow from LeBron James. The finish of your defense always has to be blocking out and securing the defensive rebound. Here they didn't do it. Good pursuit on the offensive board and allowed him to stick it right back in. The Cavaliers coming off an impressive win in their previous game against Golden State. Jeff, they won for a number of reasons. What would you say was the most important? They were in the zone last game. I mean, when you shoot the ball that well from deep, it's hard to lose. They were absolutely on fire. And because of that, they got the victory. Jeff, remember when our buddy Mark was coaching the Warriors and he called Curry and Thompson the greatest shooting backcourt in the history of the game? We mocked them back then, but he might be right. Yeah, I said, there goes that fool talking again. But hey, the fool was right. The Splash Brothers are the absolute best shooting backcourt of all time. Mark Jackson got it right. Converts on the inside. The assist. Moves around the defender. Curry forcing up. The shot. State's leading Cleveland by a score of 9-6. to six. Blows past his man. Misfires. On the follow. And a nice finish at the basket. He scored 12 points in their previous game against the Golden State Warriors. Boy, there's some incredible point guards these days in the NBA, Jeff. And you look at a guy like Kyrie Irving. Is anybody a better ball handler? Now, listen, he is a special, special player uh, when he's at the top of the floor, either in transition, one-on-one, -on -one, or in the high pick and roll. The guy has a unique handle. He can get to any spot on the floor he wants. And his greatness has been obscured prior to LeBron James coming back to Cleveland because he wasn't playing in any meaningful games. Now, because of James and Kevin Love being there, they're playing in meaningful games, and we're getting to see 
all of his talents come to the forefront. To Smith. He's averaging 12 points per game this season. Smith for two. Jumper won't go. To Curry. Nice move into the paint. Oh, what a great dunk. Late here in the opening quarter, we have a timeout. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Beautifully. Tries the lob. Off the alley oop. He lays it in. And here's the replay to give us another look. The assist from number 11, Clay Thompson. Golden State's leading Cleveland by a score of 15 to 10. Irving against Curry. Dangerous pass, almost a steal. Tied up, has to make that pass. Yes. The Cavaliers with the offensive rebound for a new 24. An easy layup, and it won't go. Trying isn't enough. You've got to close and get there and then finish it off by contesting the shot. Inside. It's good. A two-pointer. Buzzer sounds, that ends the first quarter. Golden State's up by seven. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after a short break. Remember fans of our Jeff, I know you're a big movie guy. This past offseason, LeBron James acted in some movies. Is he a better actor than a player? Well, his opponents would say he acts on the floor with some of his flop, but He's got another profession he's going to be good at, Mike. And doesn't it somewhat make you sick to your stomach that one guy is so good at so many different things? <laughs> Schumper bringing it up. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. There's the step back. Nice adjustment. Can't get it to fall. The ball handler is open first. The screener is open most if it's set properly. Here, poor coordination between the screener and the ball handler, which led to the contested jump shot. James for three. James is shot from behind the arc. Won't go. Slams it home for two. Pound the offensive board. Get extra possession. Great job in the pursuit of the basketball and then finishing at the rim. Unable to flip it in. On the follow, puts it right back up. Iguodala the rebound. Barbosa set to bring it up. You always talk about sacking. It's good. And one. And Andre Iguodala will get to the line. One shot to try and make a four-point play. Hey, that's just a cardinal rule and a cardinal mistake in basketball.
basketball. You never foul a jump shooter. Here, he fouls a three-point shooter. He makes it and now goes to the line for a four-point play. Curling in to the rim. Barnes, the rebound. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer. Puts it in. And it's a 10-point lead for the Warriors. They haven't wasted any time in establishing an offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. To Shumpert. Shumpert fires. And Harrison Barnes, with his hand up, able to change the shot. Poise and precision will get you a better quality shot than that. That the alley -oop. he throws it down. And Cleveland calls timeout. Nothing working at this point. Hey, that's what you're looking for. Easy baskets. Catch, jump, dunk. Cleveland Cavaliers having another great season, Jeff. You know, as long as LeBron James is on that roster, they have a chance at a title. Absolutely. You saw it last year. Even without Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, they took the Golden State Warriors to six games. He didn't play efficiently, but he played unbelievably well in that final series. And with him, his team will always be a favorite to win a championship. To the rim, rebound handled by Green. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. You gotta learn to win in different ways. Sometimes all your shots are going in and the rebound totals are down. Here tonight, the ball isn't going in, so you've got to win the battle of the boards. Green blocked by Thompson. Man, we used to have a block party at 612 Blue Ridge Drive, but I haven't seen a block party like this since then. The assist from number 12, Andrew Logan. Oh, killer crossover. Irving's not able to hit the three. And when it comes to scoring, it just hasn't been a great start for him. But I'm confident he can turn things around. Golden State's leading Cleveland by a score of 34 to 14. Irving fires it up again from three. Backboard this season, a huge season for Draymond Green. He was so versatile last year, now has the big contract. Perhaps feels a little pressure that he's got to perform this year. Money Green is my new nickname for him, Mike. But he deserved it. He earned it. His play, his versatility, his competitive juice had such a huge impact on the Warriors winning. And I don't think there has to be anything to change for his formula of success. He should not feel more pressure to score, just continue to... Oh, what a play as he slams it home. And here's another look at that amazing dunk. Well worth the replay. Timeout called here late the first... First half. I don't understand the timeout management here. You need to try to keep the game within striking distance. Instead, they allow him to go on this big run to run up this huge lead, and now they take their timeout. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Cavaliers' ball. Man, what a great game thus far, Jeff. Definitely an entertaining matchup so far. And when it comes down to shot blocking, it has not been a one-sided affair. Each of these teams has done a tremendous job of redirecting shots. Iguodala on the drive, throws it right back at him. Green, they work it around the perimeter. To Iguodala, Iguodala from downtown with just one left on the shot clock. To the basket, flips it up. Thompson, the rebound. Irving on the drive. And the first.
first half comes to an end. The Warriors up by 22. Stay tuned for more Tuesday Night NBA presented by ESPN on EA Sports after this short break. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks for joining us for the Halftime Report. The second half is about to get started. Welcome back to the Oracle Arena for the second half. Jeff Van Gundy alongside me here tonight. Mike Breen on hand. Golden State's got to be euphoric after their first half, Jeff. They can't play any better. You say euphoric, I say happy. I don't know what the difference is, but it's a little bit of a difference. Listen, you can't get too euphoric, as you would say, Mike, or the other team will come back right at you. Happy, yes. Euphoric, no. Keep grinding away for your win. Jeff Smith won the NBA Six Man of the Year Award with the Knicks 2013. First Nick to win the award since your guy, John Starks, in 97. When Smith is right, he's a heck of a player. He is. Oftentimes, we focus on his antics versus his game. But when he is playing at his high point, he's obviously a dynamic shot maker. But he's also a good passer. And I think that gets overlooked. This guy's a good NBA player. Unfortunately, we don't talk enough about his game. Green. Nice ball movement for the layup. It's good. And Harrison Barnes with nine points. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Oh, excellent screen. Irving for two. Shoots away. Won't go. Adjusting on the shot. Unable to flip it in. Hey, it's been that type of night. They've missed first shots. Now they're missing the second chance opportunities that they're getting. Puts it in on the catch and shoot from Draymond Green. Draymond Green with 10 points and three assists. That's a nice three-point catch and shoot. To Love. He's averaging 16 points per game this season. Green coming across. Bogut forcing there. Draymond Green with his fourth assist of the night. And Cleveland calling for a timeout. They have lots to discuss. Your job as a coach is try to keep the game close. Here, they just totally mismanaged their timeout by allowing their opponent to go on this huge run and then calling the timeout. Why call a timeout now? The game is basically over. You've allowed the lead to balloon. Let's it go for two. That's good. The Cavs down by 29. Thompson, he curls. Thompson fires away for two. Come right back down and knock it down. When you play that good a defense and you contest the two-point J, you expect a good result there. The offense was just superior. The concentration and the follow-through. He stuck his shot. Smith shot for two, misses. And this has just been an off day for him offensively. It happens to even the best players in this league. But you can tell how frustrated he is right now with himself. To love. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Steph Curry's been the MVP candidate, but Klay Thompson, sometimes he gets overshadowed on how many things he does for this team, Jeff. You can make a strong argument that Klay Thompson is the best two guard in the league when you factor in his defensive ability. He is so improved defensively from when he first came into the league to now. He can guard point guards. We've seen him match up in the playoffs with Chris Paul. You can see him taking threes. He can lock down twos. I don't think Klay Thompson will ever get his just due because defense is far too often overlooked. No good on the layup attempt. Hey, that's a team playing the score, not the game. That's too easy of an attempt, even though you have a big lead. Jeff, we've been treated to some terrific action so far in this game. And before we've even reached halftime, we're seeing block shot totals that would be the envy of any coach and team in this league. To love. 
Passes it back to him. Strong finish at the rim. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Rifles the cross-court pass and hits the three. Stephen Curry's three for five from the perimeter. You don't have a lot of room over there in the corner. You got to get your feet set, get on balance, and stroke. Puts it in, and that's his first field goal. That's phantom defense right there. No one near him. Wide open, two-point J. Curry jump shot. That's a three. Eight three-pointers for the Warriors. Made the most of his opportunity, and he knocked it in. Three ball. To the basket, gets that one to drop. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Curry from downtown, once again from three-point range. Stephen Curry with 19 points. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. And he Euro steps his way to the basket, misses the layup. Curry into the front court. Curry for three with another shot. Puts it in. He's in rhythm now. No one in the arena had to wait to see the ball go in the basket. Everybody knew it was true from the moment he released it. Mozgov, excellent ball movement, great teamwork. To James, he's averaging six assists per game this season. James for two. And that will end the third quarter. Golden State's up. Fourth quarter set to begin. Nice, comfortable lead. You want to wrap this one up early now. You're exactly correct, Mike. What you want to do, first three minutes, wrap this game up, take care of business. Don't allow them to even feel any confidence that they can work themselves back into the game. Can't finish. Hey, it's really simple. You've got to make in this league. Right there, point blank, second chance opportunity off the offensive rebound, and missed another very makeable shot. Four, three. Jeff, we spoke earlier about Clay Thompson being underrated. Reminds you a little bit like Scottie Pippen playing under the shadow of Jordan, or James Worthy under the shadow of Magic. Are you kidding, Mike? Did you just compare Steph Curry to Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson? Is that what just happened here? Are you kidding me? He's one of the best shooters we've ever seen. Why not? Hey, message to Mike. They dominated over a long period of time. Stop the nonsense. <laughs> Drains the three on the catch and shoot from Draymond Green. Draymond Green with 13 points and five rebounds. An 8-0 run for the Warriors. Smith hoping for position in the paint. Adjusts, lays it up, and gets the roll. Typically, that's not the shot you want the contested to. It worked out this time. Unable to convert the three. Stephen Curry's seven for 11 from long range. To Smith. Gets to the rim. Can't lay it home. You've got to protect the basket in this league. Good job defensively tonight, not allowing makes at the rim. Barbosa fires for three. Bang. Golden State shooting 72% from three here tonight. And fans from this team must be experiencing deja vu. Why am I speaking French? I don't know, but I am. So seeing how well their team has shot the three, it's just like the last game. Coach says, hold on now, let's talk it over. They call a full timeout. All right, Jeff, if you're the coach, what do you do here? When you see the full timeout being taken, oftentimes, staffs get together away from their teams to do a number of things. One is to discuss necessary strategy adjustments. Maybe they're discussing matchup adjustments. And sometimes the head coach is just complaining about the players who are in the game at that moment. And as an assistant coach, your job is to nod your head. Yes, up and down vigorously, like you understand the pain that the head coach is going through at that moment. Sometimes it is that simple. I don't understand the timeout management here. You need to try to keep the game within striking distance. Instead, they allow him to go on this big run to run up this huge lead, and now they take their timeout. Attempt won't go. 
Throughout this game, the ball just hasn't been dropping for him. He will likely be picked for the who was cold segment in our post-game show. And no one wants that distinction. James. James from downtown. Misfires from long distance. Curry from downtown lets it go again. Knocks down the jumper. And Stephen Curry with 13 points here in the fourth quarter. And no one's surprised when you see this guy knocking down threes. It's just who he is and what he does. Green. Alley-oop. Oh, he puts it down. What a beautiful pass. And here's the replay with another look at that spectacular dunk. What a crowd pleaser. That's the easiest play in basketball right there. Catch it near the basket and flush it home. Dangerous cross-court pass. Can't hit the three. Right there is a microcosm of their night. Missing wide open shots. That's why they've been blown out here tonight. They just haven't made enough open jump shots. Golden State's leading Cleveland by a score of 95 to 26. Irving on the drive. Terrific block by Bogan. Thompson. That's a catch and shoot for three. Nails the jumper from downtown. And Clay Thompson with eight points here in the fourth. And a timeout taken late here in the fourth. This is an absurd timeout. Why take this timeout now? This is too little, too late. They should have taken this timeout long ago. Instead, they wait, they're down big, and now you take a timeout? This is a joke. In the paint, soft touch gets the roll. Stephen Curry with 37 points and four assists. To James, he's got eight points in this matchup. Oh, nice rejection by Green. There's the double team. Won't go. And the scoring drought goes over three minutes. The double team came hard and high and to the post player's body. That's what forced the difficult shot attempt and the miss. The Cavs with control on the rebound. Oh, it's turned back by Bogut. Love forces it up. Bogut the rebound. And there's the final buzzer. The final score is 100 to 26. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. Here we go with the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Warriors were simply amazing in this contest. The scoring display they put on is gonna be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. The Warriors relied on these guys for their scoring here today. The Cavaliers are no longer suffering through what was a big time blow off. Losses like this become main discussion topics in the media. So hopefully this team is ready to answer the tough questions. It's not gonna be fun. Game track. Blocks. The Cleveland Cavaliers gave up a lot of blocks in this matchup. However, they did win in the four shots category, which is how I think a lot of those swats were even made possible. Player of the game. Steph Curry punished the opposition with a great game here today. When you're the game leader in points, it's hard not to stand out. And he did exactly that in today's matchup. I think everyone would agree it's the way he scored the majority of his points that was the most impressive. And that's because he did it with three pointers. He was quite a marksman today. Who 
Bush Cole. Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Here are the top plays from the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.